Hi folks, we've got fun mail. Yay! Hi everyone, so here's the fan mail and this has been kindly sent to me by Davina. I hope I've pronounced that right. This is one of my subscribers and she asked me what things I like and obviously I said mantises and she did surprise me and brought one which and sent it through which was very kind. Now I did ask what she actually sent to him just so it could be ready for it and um, let's have a little look. Now this is from Unseen Universe, this is Mitch at Unseen University in the UK. I have had a few of him in the past before, a very long time ago and if I remember correctly he was one of the first ones I had off with this particular Mantis 2. So I'm just opening this as careful as I can packaged really well and this has been sent to next day delivery guaranteed by 1pm so yes there we go we don't need them and this card is in there as you can see on scene universe and here we have it there we go we don't need to see all this There is our little mantis with some fruit flies in as well. And this is a popper sprucer, a African twig mantis. He's just there inside the pot. And these these can grow um, pretty, not massive, but quite big. I, um, I have had a female before and she was great. And they don't move around a lot. They tend to act like a twig and they're very good at it as well. They did the posture with the, putting their front um, claws out. So what we'll do is we'll put this into the setup that I created in one of the last videos, a little 16 ounce deli cup with some tarantula soil in and we'll speak a bit more about that in a moment. Hi folks, so we put our little uh, mantis in this little enclosure, he or she I should say, we don't know right now. Now this is an African twig mantis like I said and these aren't too fussy about the prey, the really crawling prey as well and they're pretty good feeders in my opinion when I've had them before. Now they don't grow too big here, the female I think she was about 6 to 7 centimetres big. They do kind of adopt um, a twig like stance when they're disturbed or threatened and they do really well if you put some like nice twigs in there, they camouflage really well and sometimes you can be looking for them for ages when they're little nymphs. Um, I don't spray these too much about once a week because they do come from quite a dry area in my opinion and uh, temperature wise I did keep mine last at about 22-23 degrees, they do like a bit warm about 25-30 to 30, but they do do fine at that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get my camera out to have a little look at them just at the end so we can show you and um, I want to say thank you to Tavina, really really nice of you to send me this, it was a great little gesture and um, I can't, I can't, I was like dead excited when somebody sent it because it's my first fan mail. So thank you for watching guys, and maybe you subscribe and look out for the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.